Don't close that door. I need to get in there. I think. Don't come out of his body. Fuck off. Oh, God. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. Oh. Oh. Was he crawling out of that mannequin? It looks like he's about to come out. Oh no. Interact with it? Okay. Ah! Should have just left his ass alone. <laughs> I was curious though. Uh, yeah, duck. There we go. That's nice. Let me just crouch. Oh gosh. Mannequin hand. Hannikin. Hello? Is anyone home? What's this? There is a world outside of our own, hidden beyond a veil of black mist where ancient beings dwell. Immortal, everlasting. They move among us unseen, unless they wish to be. Unless they choose you. A mortal to play their cruel charades. A plaything to be toyed with and discarded when they cease to amuse. Do not listen. Do not play their game. The price is too far to high. Too high. <coughs> Beware, you of great talent, of great skill. Beware, you who have seen their true faces. For you, only madness and death. Alright, man. Let me in. Open the damn door, bitch. Fine. Fine! I'll... Go this way. Anyone here? Anybody, friend, foe? Oh. Bye, little rat. Oh! Goodness me, oh my. What the fuck? Did I just teleport to the other side of the gates? Hold on, there's a door over there though. What have you got to say or do or hand me? Top of the page torn off. Involved in a number of personal scandals, sparking morale, outrage, and rumors as to the thespian's mental health. Sparking 
moral outrage, sorry. Our sources within the household reveal that the star would spend hours on end behind locked doors. Voices could be heard, at times accompanied by laughter or crying, but then the door would open, revealing there was no one else in the room. Still, a famed critic, Noah Wensley, is quick to remind us extraordinary artists seldom lead ordinary lives. We must not forget that great art carries a heavy cost. To lose oneself in a role sometimes lead to losing oneself, period. Dear Lordy me. Hello? Looks like the rats got to it before us. What? Hold on. Say that again. <laughs> You okay, buddy? Let me uh, let me help you out. Let me help you out of there, little guy. Uh, I don't know if I really wanna. Uh, uh, come on, man, man, mannequin guy, come help me. Oh. Oh, it stinks. Yeah, it's a piece of. But it looks like someone. Oh my God! Stop dropping the stuff! God damn it! I keep dropping it before they finish this little thing. <clears throat> ah, hand! <laughs> Had to reinforce some of the cages. Something got the animals all spooked. Might be they sense the storm coming. Need to batten down the hatches. It's going to be a big one. <coughs> What's this? Meow Records Company. <laughs> oh. That's right. You just stay behind that gate, buddy. You leave me be. Oh. What are, are you chasing me? Is that what's happening? I'm like an escapee and you got dogs and people chasing me or something? Nice. Beal and Company, animal trainers, dog training plus delivery, 225 U.S. dollars. Notes, cage plus contents delivered to the live cargo deck. Kept feeding to a minimum as instructed handle with caution. Gonna hide in this little little chicken coop thing. Oh goodness! Jeez! Very ominous, creaky dooring. Ah! Oh! Jeez! Quit with the dog! What 
hell? I like how it acts like I can interact with all that shit. It's like way up there. Slam! Oh, an apple. I'm hungry. It's been a while. Let's eat. Oh no! Do I have to get it? Oh. Poor little mannequin, buddy. He got fucked. Look, Whoa. there's something there. Oh. Oh, okay. You can do it, buddy. I got you. Oh, I think you got it. <laughs> Look over there. Can't you see it? What is it? Where am I? What the hell is going on? No, this isn't what I saw. You have to believe me. We're out on the edge of the world, Mr. Hardy. Don't Nothing put it away. Is as it Am I even on a ship anymore? Like, what the fuck? It's like I'm in some factory now. Oh, I was like, there's nothing over here. <laughs> Door appears out of nowhere. Whoop. What's this say? Top of the page torn off. Mr. Hardy wouldn't get far without his beloved Captain Baines. The captain is the main character of the story. Some people call him the Black Wanderer because of the color of his ship's sails. Captain Baines is strong and fearless, and he always gets the treasure in the end. Mr. Hardy is a bit envious of the captain because he would like to be as strong as him. But he's weak! <laughs> Kind of Bioshock esque. Got that old timey look, but you're on a boat and stuff. Oh! Oh. Oh, nope, that's locked. Hey, don't hit me with stuff. It's a coffin. It's a burning coffin. Is it for me? Oh. Oh. Okay, shit's getting weird. It's getting scary. Leave me alone.
Had a dead slow mark, so dead slow is what we go. This one's empty too. We need to keep looking. Lily, I mean, Captain. There's something out there, in the dark. Hush now. Stay behind me. I won't let anything happen to you. You say that now. Leave me alone. Ah! <laughs> Jesus. Ah. Just run, homie, just run. There's a beast behind you, and he wants to kill you. Oh god, there he is. That was just bad luck. <laughs> oh god. It's like no matter which way you choose. What? I was like, it's not working. Oh my god. He gonna get me! Oh god! He was too close. He was so freaking close. Oh god. <laughs> Listen, I talked to some people. The man is difficult, yes, but he is a genius. You can take something from it for yourself. And achieve the greatness you sometimes talk about. Just listen to what he has to say. You don't have to do it, but listen. Look at this creepy baby. Oh god. Oh. Oh. And this shit's weird. <laughs> this game is weird sometimes. Oh. Hold on. 
such an opportunity such responsibility to unleash what has been trapped for so long I can hear it howling rattling its cage dying to get out alright let's crawl up in this bitch uh, let me just use the mannequin as steps thank you sir and sorry for stepping on your face and stuff Don't turn into a monster, please. Oh, dead rat. Take leave take it, Miss dead Darling. rat. Oh. We're not that desperate yet. James, I said leave it. Any cost must be paid when one destroys the balance. Well, here, let me put the rat back on. Let me put the rat back on. No costs. Just rats back where they need to be. Oh. Can outweigh the lives of many. One big old chubby rat to lift all the other rats up. It said don't let go, so... Okay. So... Some things must be left behind. Some things. I tried taking it from the dog and then he just kept restarting the thing. So I guess I had to let the dog go, but then he's like, weak, worthless. Like, what? I don't know what you want from me, bitch. What fucking decision is the right decision? I don't fucking know. You'll starve. 
You let it go. You regret it. You gave up. You'll never make it. Ah, oh, make it. Is that a, is that a B? Look like a bumblebee. She once saw this boy drown a baby rat in the gutter. She held the boy's head in the gutter till he promised to never do it again. There's always someone stronger than you. That's true. Ah! Uh, what's happening? Okay. Nothing, I guess. The Night Fiend. Ah. Uh. What is forever, if not merely a prolonging of misery? I would gladly give it up for a life of meaning, of purpose. Oh, what's this? To all officers, I am hereby ordering the supplies to be transferred to a more secure location in the upper cargo hold. I expect all provisions to be safe and accounted for in the next report. In any case, I wish to hear no more on the matter. Who's rattling chains out here? Filthy, stinking wretches, so much treasure. Oh, God. Who's the chain rattler? Oh, my gosh. What is this? It's no good. We'll never find any food. Oh, it's James, a can. look at me. And it's all my fault. I said, look at me. I am Captain Baines, the Black Wanderer, the Slayer of the Cyclops, the Seeker of the Flame. I will see us through this. Don't you ever doubt me. We're gonna starve. All the money means nothing if we have no food. So many riches. Pardon me, sir. Oh. He just fucking buries himself in the gold. He's like, yes. My chalice go and the gold. It's a rotten, stinky fish now.
So much fish. So much wasted fish. Why? From second engineer to requisitions officer. I know you have your orders and I mean no disrespect. I'm just saying the chief is being unreasonable. He'd let all that food rot in the hold as long as it's accounted for. Anyway, the workers are getting restless, shifts are getting longer, and now they have to make do on less food. I know my men. They're decent, God-fearing folk, but or not one thief among them. But when people hear their bellies rumbling, it's easy to put them over the edge. Keep on going further in. 